hair, I think, is looking really good. You don't think that. <laughs> you can't possibly think that. I'm in the growing out phases. I'm going to give it a try. And you, you just gave me some good advice to set a deadline. So if, let's just say, by Halloween it looks still crazy, then it's going to go back. I'm open for opinions, by the way. But, but let's talk about something more than just the length of it. I, you know, I almost wanted to just say that so you know that it's not looking this way because my stylist did it like this for me. <laughs> That's not the truth at all. But um, I'm going to show you something about doing your hair. When you get color in your hair, it's more than just deciding I want my hair to be this color. You have to decide what kind of color, and there are questions you should be asking your stylist before you leap in. Take a look. There is a difference between semi-permanent and permanent color hair, and if you are ready to color your hair, you need to know the difference. You know, say you're getting mousy or your color's losing its vibrancy, but you don't have a gray problem. You want to use semi-permanent color because the upkeep is much less than permanent color. It is going to wash out in six to eight weeks. You can't go lighter with it because it's sitting, it's, it's only depositing, it's not lifting. Uh, permanent color as well as highlights or bleach are the only things that can actually lift pigment and lighten the hair. It's permanently altering the, the melanin, the pigment in the hair. Permanent color is, uh, it actually has peroxide or ammonia. It is taking all of the color molecules out of the hair and it is depositing whatever that color is. Um, so I usually don't recommend permanent color for my clients until they are 50% gray or more. Well, no worries about that for me. I'm there. And I would say percentage gray-wise, you probably are about, mm, I'd say 60-40. Eek! <laughs> There's it's bad. new growth. The, yes. It's time. We like, we like the phrase new, new growth better than roots. Roots, roots a little tacky. So let's just say this was my first go at coloring my hair, or maybe the first time I used permanent color. Here's what Marcy recommends that I do first. Most importantly, before you get color with your stylist, you want to go in and have a consultation. If it's something that you have not done before, you want to investigate you know, with your stylist, or if you're looking, you're going to someone new, you want to make sure that you guys are on the same page, that you have, bring in pictures. Pinterest is great. I love when my clients bring in Pinterest pictures and show me. So we can make sure that we are on the same uh, wavelength and we both have the same vision. This makes perfect sense, but this next one is tricky. You don't want freshly washed hair because it can cause the chemicals used to irritate your scalp. But you don't want your hair to be so dirty or full of leftover product that the stylist can't get a clear picture of the current color of your hair. You want to, I want to be able to see what the hair is like. I don't want to have to wash the client to get all of that off because then I'm invigorating their scalp and then their scalp could be irritated. So we've, you know, we've, um, we've timed it out right for me being able to see the color, me being able to remove the color if I need to remove color and their scalp not to be sensitive. A few more things to bring up when you have that initial conversation with your stylist. You, you also want to make sure that your stylist knows in advance that you've had any kind of other chemical service done, whether it be a relaxer or a straightener, a keratin treatment, um, or if you've had surgery or you're on a new medication. Uh, those things can affect the hair. It can affect the, uh, the process of the hair. If you are on a well, um, the well water can, it, sometimes you need to do a remove all treatment uh, to prep the hair to take the color correctly. Oh, and did I mention I'm prematurely gray? <laughs> premature. It's, I'm pre okay. it's premature. It's, it's astounding how gray I am for my age. <laughs> what was that, not roots? You new don't growth. say roots, you have to say new growth. I like it, I like yes, it. A lot of great exactly. tips in there. Yeah. There are great tips in there, especially the one about if you're on a well, you need to tell your stylist, things like that. Now, I'm not the only one standing here that has experience <laughs> coloring my hair, just so you know. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> let's see some... <laughs> What happened in there? Uh, I went through a phase, and after that, that is how I became bald forever. <laughs> too many chemicals. Too you know, many chemicals. There's some blonde hair. You guys right? and your blonde hair. <laughs> well, let's see. Oh! oh. 
everybody went through this stage. That is that, a boy band in the making oh right there. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. <laughs> anyway, if you want to reach out to Marcy DeSanto at Top Notch Salon, we'll put the information up on our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. She's, she's really smart. She and probably doesn't want her place of business with the two photos we just <laughs> had that close together. Sorry. Probably not. We went probably through some not. things, man. Yeah, we yeah. mature. Exactly. That We're blonde, natural now. That blonde, I think you should do it again. Uh. <laughs> I think you should do it again. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll, I'll get my phone like I did with that and phone it in. All right. More to come. Don't go anywhere on River City Live.